this nation, particularly to Christian people, should be completely, totally based on what George Washington said to Jesus. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I don't think those two men existed around the same time. I don't, I don't think George Washington said anything to Jesus. Again, I, I suppose I could be wrong, but I really don't think I am. So there's a lot packed into this short video. Uh, but Kenneth Copeland claiming that George Washington spoke directly to Jesus is only the beginning. Uh, the second part that I want to bring up real quick before I let you watch the rest of the video is um, that jacket. Wow. It's God, Abram, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob became Israel, Jesus, and George. I ended up with more fingers than he did. This nation, particularly to Christian people, should be completely, totally based on what George Washington said to Jesus. The first act of Congress, number one, the first act of Congress was to enter covenant with the Almighty God based on the book of Genesis. Ooh, that's not quite right either. The first act of Congress, I'm pretty sure, was the Oath Act, where they all swore to uphold the Constitution. It had nothing to do with religion at all, or the book of Genesis, really. Not to mention, I know I've said it before, but the Founding Fathers weren't a big fan of Christian nationalism um, or any sort of religious nationalism at all. Uh, in fact, I know I've said it before, but here are their thoughts on the separation of church and state. But that won't stop Christian nationalist rhetoric from being on the rise. This talk of Christian nationalism, this pushback against, uh, against Christianity, against doing this kind of things, you know, because people say the deconstructed former Christians would say, you don't need to shove God into everything. And I said this, I said, listen, this is what they hit me on. I want a country where Christians are making the laws. I want a country where believers are engaged in every sphere of society. I want a country where, God, like, there is no law outside of the biblical moral law. Like, that is the only compass. But I actually do believe that. Listen, if you need a Christian moral code to keep you from doing bad things, if you think that morality can't exist outside of Christianity, that sounds like a you problem. Anyways, I'll be out here not doing bad things because I understand morality outside of religion and I don't need a religion to tell me not to do bad things to other people. So um, hopefully you too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.